Hi, welcome to Color Guard Academy. I'm Brianna, and I've been a Color Guard instructor for over 10 years. I've had the privilege to learn from some amazing instructors and fellow Color Guard members who have all influenced my technique and choreography style. The art of Color Guard is an amazing gift to the world, and I hope to inspire and share my passion with others through this channel. If you enjoy this video, please remember to like and subscribe below for more. In this video, I'm going to teach you about toasters and hand positions. The first thing, toasters, is something that refers to the actual kitchen appliance of a toaster. And in Color Guard, it is very important that you keep the whole flag rotating at the same plane as everybody else on the guard. So, the first toaster is going to be your vertical toaster. So you kind of imagine like you are down inside of a large toaster. And there is a wall on this side of you and on the back side of you. So when you are doing moves, you have to keep every part of the flag, not just the silk or not just the pole, but every part of it inside of that toaster. So you can't do a move this way or you'll hit your toaster. So you have to keep it all inside of this vertical toaster. That can be doing all different kinds of moves that you're doing, but you want to keep them in the toaster. The next type of toaster or plane that you're going to be rotating a flag on is the horizontal plane. So anytime you're going horizontally, you want to make sure that you are keeping that within that horizontal toaster. So the toaster is on its side this time. And you are rotating it so that it's not hitting the sides of your toaster. You could also rotate different moves at a 45 degree plane. So that would be something that your, your toaster kind of turns to a 45 degree, but you're still keeping your flag in that same plane, just like everybody else on your guard. Next we have your side toaster. So if you are doing moves that are staying inside of your side toaster, you're still keeping it inside of this imaginary toaster with two walls on both sides of you so that it stays in the same plane as everyone else. Next are the most common hand positions that you have in Color Guard. Now this is not all of the hand positions that you would have, but these are the most common that people are going to use. You're going to have thumbs up, which is just what it sounds like. Your thumb is going to be facing upward on the pole. Thumbs down, where your thumb is facing downward. Sometimes people also refer to it if you're at a flat. They'll say palm down or palm up, but those can also be thumb up or thumb down. You have money hand, which is where you grab your pole between your thumb and your pointer finger. You have watch hand, which is where you grab your pole like this, and it looks like you're looking at your watch. Or you have the cradle, which is you're cradling your pole in your arm just like you would hold a baby, but you're cradling the pole. 